Welcome to this screencast about using Grand.org. This time I will talk about uh, Reverb together with Grand.org. Depending on what version of Grand.org you have installed, you might have a feature up here in the toolbar that is called Reverb. But as you can see in this version, it should be uh, called really Release Tail Length instead. And, uh, it's a way to shorten um, the release length, actually fade it out earlier uh, if you set it. So the maximum is uh, the original sound as it is recorded in the sample. And then you have the limits set by the software. And uh, this mimics you playing in a drier environment with le less reverb and this can be useful when you're practicing and you really want to hear clearly what you are doing um, it tend to not tire the ears so much actually but many times you want to have the opposite effect and you want to have as much reverb as possible to hear uh, mimicking, for instance, you playing in a great cathedral. And there are at least three ways of doing this together with Grand.org. The first is to use the built-in reverb of Grand.org. I will first um, load a sample set. And I choose PTO School of Music set that is quite dry in itself. Uh, it sounds like this. And if you shorten it down even more, it sounds like that. And now we will add the built-in reverb of Grand.org. And you find it in Audio Media Settings, the Reverb tab. And you click Enable Convolution Reverb. And then you get a warning dialog. But you can safely ignore this. And then you will have to choose an uh, Impulse Reverb file. And um, you can find these uh, in many places um, freely on the web if you search for them. Uh, I have a few on my page. Um, I can show you where to find it. And uh, download IR recordings. And what these files are, um, they are actually recordings um, of a sharp sound played in the reverberant room to capture um, the characteristics of the echo and reverb uh, there. Uh, and that will be used uh, for affecting the sound of Grand Org to give you the impression of you playing in that room. There are many others you can find, for instance, on the Vox and Go site um, and so on. Just search for uh, impulse re response recordings and you will find it on the web. Um, you can set the amount of delay if you want to and uh, you can start choose to start not from the beginning of the file but later on if you want to and you see the length of the file and the, you can shorten it if you want to. But uh, let's just leave it like it is. Then you have the channel. And at the moment Grand.org can only use a single channel for the reverb. Even though it is a stereo file. You have the choice of using either channel 1 or channel 2. For mixing into the sound. And you can choose to gain. And this will usually... Um, have to be set quite low um, to not um, have uh, artifacts from you overloading the sound system really. 
and um, then you have the choice of um, adding direct sound and um, this uh, mixes the you have both the direct sound and the convolution reverb together if you have this deselected and only use the convolution reverb it will tend to be a bit muddy in the sound so we click OK and now we should have some reverb to the sound And you can also mix uh, the feature of shortening the original recorded reverb and uh, more or less only rely on the convolution reverb. And it can be like that. As another choice, you can use external software to provide the reverb you want to have. And the way I do that, um, um, I cannot show you really in the screencast because uh, that involves using Jack as uh, for audio. And the screencast uh, program doesn't work really that well with Jack. So I will show you some images um, of how I do this instead. Um, and I do it in multi-channel normally. I use the front speakers to provide the direct sound as it is in the samples and I use my rear speakers to give the reverb sound. So I start with at least setting up four channels audio output. Uh, you can use more, of course. I have a 7.1 sound card, so that's no problem to use. But for this, I use four channels. And then you start jack. And here it's important that you set um, the sample rate correctly for, um, for the sample set that you're going to use um, and actually you must match the settings in ground org uh, so that it uses the same sample rate otherwise it won't work really um, and then you start jack and uh, inside ground org you must tell it to use jack for audio and you can see that in inside ground org I only have the two normal channels uh, set up for ground org because ground org won't know about uh, the reverb really that will be provided by another software and um, Then inside Jack, I use the connect uh, uh, button to bring up the connections dialog. And here I will connect the outputs from ground org. Uh, they are connected to the front two speakers and they are connected to uh, Zeta one, which is the reverb application. Um, and in turn, the Zeta Rev 1 outputs are connected to my rear speakers. And you can see here that uh, since I have eight channels uh, for output, um, they are all visible, even though I'm only using uh, four of them at the moment. And you will have to test on your, um, your equipment what channel actually maps to what speaker. <coughs> And what this does is to output the direct sound from the sample set from Grand Org uh, to the front speakers and give the reverb in the rear speakers, very closely mimicking the feeling of you uh, playing at an organ console in a church uh, where you have the direct sound from the pipes um, to your front if you're facing the organ, of course, 
and then you have the sound of uh, the church from behind and it's a very nice experience I promise you so experiment with this and then you have a third option to completely use an external uh, reverb unit um, you take the sound from the computer and you feed it into an external reverb uh, as well as uh, into the audio system you have um, but I don't have any so I cannot really show you and it's happening outside the computer anyway so um, there you have a few options of playing with the reverb inside ground org so try it and thank you for watching